Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Staple update video. Today I'm joined with Moira who is lying on my desk so you can't see her. Moira is my new kitten by the way. Um, just thought I'd say that because she might distract me throughout the day because, uh, well throughout the video. She's just like that. But yeah, welcome to today's update video. It's a little bit of a smaller one because it's just the new horses of Yorva Grace. And uh, I did miss last week's update video but I have actually filmed the quest video so that will be out like sometime this week um i've just been busy with university i started uni this week and a couple of other things which i'll probably speak about uni and things like that in next week's training rambles you know we'll talk about my first week of uni where is the horses of your grace uh south hoof peninsula i actually was not expecting it to be at south hoof which makes me excited because it sounds like it's a new actual horses of your vic or actually no wait we've had one at south hoof before Hmm, now I can't remember. I know we've had like, usually we have the one at the Silverglade Manor and they're usually like the same type, I suppose. Now, I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, Moira is so cute. So with the previous Horses of Jorvik races, we've had like discounted horses. So I'm not sure if we're gonna get discounted horses for this race. So we have the Gotland Ponies, the Welsh Ponies, and the Icelandics I think are allowed, but he's gonna tell us. Hi there, my name is Gadia. I literally, okay, I can say the first name sometimes, but every time I go to say it, my mouth says no. So I'm just gonna skip over it. And I'm one of the founders of the HOJ Focus races. HOJ is short for Horses of Jorvik, if you didn't know. It's a small organization started a while back in honor of our beautiful horses here in Jorvik. My pals and I host these focus races for specific horse breeds or breeds with similar attributes. We think it's a perfect way for people to meet and bond over their love for their horses. This time we have set up a fun race here at South Hoof Peninsula. To try the race out, you must join with a Welsh pony, oh, a Shingo Teague pony, or a Gotland pony. What did I say before? What horses did I say before? Oh, I think I said Icelandic. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said Icelandic. Icelandic is not a pony and I knew it was ponies. Okay. If you want to enter the competition, just come and talk to me or grab a friend and start a race by signing up on the notice board here beside me. It feels like it's been ages since I've done an update video because last week I didn't do one. The week before I was with my sister, so I didn't do one. So it just feels like it's been so long. I really hope to see you race soon. You can enter this race, blah, 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 blah. Let's go 500 horse XP. Oh my gosh, bringing in the horse XP. Uh, so this is Cupcorn. Ooh, uh, look at this. Okay, this looks interesting. Oh, I'm like, it's literally two checkpoints in, but I'm liking it. Moira, are you chewing my headphone cable right now? Please tell me you're not chewing. She's chewing the she's chewing the headphone cable. No, 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 no. This is a very expensive $250 break if you break that. She recently broke. Okay, you guys can't really see. Um, usually I have my fairy lights on my microphone turned on, but she's actually chewed through the cord. My first loss to Moira is the fairy light cable which is really sad because i was gifted them i think my dad gave them to me uh, for birthday or christmas or something it might have been someone else maybe it was one of my friends oh gosh i can't remember but someone gifted it, them to me and i went through all the effort to put them on my microphone which was not easy because i had to like wrap it around all the different parts of the microphone whoops i swear i just pressed the space button but there's little springs because obviously the microphone goes like forwards and backwards and I had to do it around them so that it didn't stuff anything up and then Moira comes along and I swear I've tried so hard to make her stop she's currently obsessed she hates the mirror I don't think it's really clicked to her yet that it's a mirror and it's her in the reflection but there's also the reflection of the glass doors she's she always like jumps up and down but I've managed like literally the first like couple of times she pulled my towels off the wall she instantly understood oh i'm not meant to do that this is a long race maybe i just actually it's not that long is it like two minutes but i managed to train her out of that she doesn't pull the towels off the wall anymore and yet i've been like literally every single day she tries to chew my cables she hasn't learned yet she hasn't learned yet i think i need to get like uh, a chew toy because i think she is gonna start teething soon so yeah Anyways, little ramble ramble over. That was Horses of Jorvik. What the heck? Okay. So that was actually really easy. I actually, I feel like that's 
probably one of my favorite horses of your grace we've had i feel like the one in the mana paddock is a little bit tricky there's a lot of turns that one's very chill i kind of rambled through the whole thing and didn't stuff anything up too badly i love seeing your horse in action feel free to come back here whenever you'd like but remember these this race won't stay here forever now i kind of thought it would be fun to switch horses for the next one just to see if there's like a difference between the horses and their times i'm not sure that there will be obviously actually this horse horse is happier than my other horses are gonna be but yeah I just thought it would be fun to see like two horses in action get like another horse semi-trained as well yeah so we might change to a Shinko Teague or ooh, I might have already trained all my Gotland ponies I feel like I haven't written a Shinko Teague written a Shinko Teague in a long time so we might do a Shinko Teague I feel like my background looks really dark. I haven't plugged in my galaxy projector. But yeah, this is because it's literally 8.30 p.m. The update comes out kind of late for me. So if I sound tired, whatever, that's why. But let's bring out, bring out Big Dove. Yeah, I feel like Big Dove has a nickname. I just can't remember it. Should really film all my horses video, but I have not. Okay, oh, Big Dove has tack on. I did not know that. Why do my horses always end up with tack on? And then I, like, can never find any of my tack. It's a really bad thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Wait a second. I mean, actually, this bridle works well. I think it might be the matching bridle. I have a I have a delivery coming for Moira, but I don't know where it is. I actually got a Bunnings delivery and it came on Monday when it was when I was at uni. I feel really bad because I wasn't at home so I couldn't come pick it up. Um so they called me three times when I was in the uni class, so that was fun. Obviously I didn't pick it up, but yeah, I felt really bad that they tried calling me three times. But I ordered this cat one before that, so I don't know why it's not here yet, but that's fine. It's just got another scratching post so she can have a scratching post next to me. It's like a smaller one, which I can move around so she can like sit at the kitchen whilst I do the cooking as well. Because she is obsessed with me. <laughs> she really likes my company and uh, I was live streaming on Twitch. I'm going to be live streaming before the Wednesday update every single week over on twitch.tv slash justanotherpixel if you want to join us over there. Whilst we wait for the update, we play some Minecraft, maybe some other games in the future and things like that whenever I'm feeling really but yeah so she was sitting on my lap for some of that live stream which was really cute and uh, yeah anyways I feel like I've done a lot of talking today but yeah this is the race I haven't really done a quiet race have I maybe you guys are getting the gist I feel like because I've been talking so much I actually haven't been focusing on the layout of the race but all I can say is it's very enjoyable I actually like this race because it gives me the vibes of South Hoof South Hoover is a very big open area and this race feels very big and open and rather chill. Although actually, wait, I don't think there's any music playing, but I might have turned my music off, um, which is kind of, I think I have my music turned on. Oh no, I don't. Oh, let's turn the music on. I think I turned the music off because I play my own music in my videos, which makes sense because... Let's start over. This music actually sounds really cool, so we might listen to this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it, because I do still have it turned on quite low. But if I have the in-game music on, and I also put music in my own videos, I feel like it's too much sound. But this music is pretty chill. I do like, I do like. Oh my gosh, Crystal has like the little bows in her Gotland pony's mane. Oh wait, stop. I kind of want to cry. The South Hoof music makes me want to cry because it brings back a lot of memories for me, like my childhood. Oh, yeah, South Hoof. I'm going to say South Hoof Peninsula is one of my favorite songs in the game just because of the memories it brings me. It's it's a gem. It's a gem. And I feel like from the beginning, I've always liked South Hoof Peninsula music. South Hoof Peninsula. Why do I say the peninsula? I'm making it harder for myself. Look at this cute foot. I actually really like these jumps as well. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic of this race. It's also very easy. I feel like the mana ones, they try to shove so much into the paddock that it can be really hard to navigate the turns. So it feels nice to just have a chill race like this. What the heck? And 500 XP in what, like two minutes? That's pretty decent. Um, I think it's... Is it more than the other horses of Jovic races? Have, are they always 500 or 60? I like the rock jumps as well. I like... Do let me know in the comments below if you like this race or whether... I feel like... It makes it feel longer. Like, yes, it's been a minute 40, but it feels like it's been a longer race. 
um, because they're just so much more spaced out. But I do like that. I do like the space. And this part is rather tricky, but quite fun. Quite fun. Spices it up a little bit, but that is the end of this race. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that that's a nice jump. That's a nice jump. Yeah. I absolutely love the fact that it's like a little pony race and like everyone's riding little ponies. I think that's really cute. I really enjoy the concept of, oh, Big Dove, level two, mate. Oh my gosh, legendary. I really like the concept of horses of Jorvik because it does mean that people, I feel like it kind of gives a purpose. It gives a purpose to different horse breeds in the game. It's kind of like how I really like how there's Icelandic races in the game and there is the pony race. I think the Icelandic race is the only like specific horse breed race. I really wish we got more of those because I really like the fact that you have to use the horse's special move. But yeah, I just feel like this is really fun, and the fact that in recent Horses of Jorvik, they actually have done a discount. I'm not sure if they've posted about it yet. Oh, a new item is available in the bonus shop. But yeah, they haven't said anything on their news page yet. But in previous Horses of Jorvik, we get a discount on the horse breed, which I think is really, really cool. A really, really good idea from the team. I really enjoy that. But yeah, I'm going to head off here. Um, I feel like there was a lot of rambling in this video. If you do like rambling, then I do training rambles every Tuesday, every couple of Tuesdays for training, where I spend about, you know, half an hour, maybe more, just chatting with you guys. So let me know what you want to hear about in the next training rambles. I'll probably talk about university and things like that. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I don't know how many people are still here watching, so I'm very sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I really appreciate your support, you guys. Um, thank you for letting me do what I love to do for a living. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.